Shalom and God bless you guys as you join me at the tea table for this week's mini teaching. You know, the other day the Lord woke me up early in the morning and he asked me a question. He said, have you allowed the enemy to steal your happy thoughts? As I thought on this question, I was reminded of a movie, and many of you have seen it. It's called Hook with Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman. In the movie, there's a scene that really spoke to me. It was where the son, Jack, an 11-year-old who was very disappointed in his dad for not sticking up for him and never being there for him. Anyway, Jack was finally won over by Captain Hook, the villain, because Captain Hook promised to be there for him all the time. Well, in this scene, Jack was playing baseball, which was his favorite sport, and he hits the ball. I mean, he really just lays into it, and he hits the ball, and it goes out of sight, obviously a home run. And as he starts around the bases, the cheerleading team was made up of pirates. They hold up the signs that say, Run home, Jack. Well, for a moment, Jack's happy thought was of home. And he hesitates. And the cheerleading pirates are corrected of their mistake by Captain Hook. And they change the signs to read, Home run, Jack. And the happy thought is gone. And once again, Jack forgets home and gets on with the game. You know, the things that we sometimes think about can either bring us joy, pain, anger, and often incredible amounts of stress. And many of the negative things we sometimes think about have often happened years and years ago, but we have not learned to let them go. In other words... What we think about can affect our daily life and our walk with God. I believe this is why in Philippians 4.8, it tells us, Therefore, my brethren, those things that are true, those things that are honorable, those that are righteous, those things that are pure, those things that are precious, those things that are praiseworthy, deeds of glory and of praise, think on these things. In the God's Word translation, which I really like, it says it this way. Finally, brothers and sisters, keep your thoughts on whatever is right or deserves praise. Things that are true, honorable, fair, pure, acceptable, or commendable. Commendable is another way of saying praiseworthy. You know, sometimes it would almost seem that the things that we think upon have a mind of their own. And the negative ones seem to always present themselves in the night when we are trying to get some sleep. Have you ever tried to go to sleep only to have a thought keep you wide awake? You know, it can be a thought of a, of a coming interview or a meeting or a final school exam or a thought of someone who wronged you five years ago. And as hard as you try to put it out of your mind, It comes back just as strongly. As a matter of fact, you try really hard to think on something else that will bring you peace and hopefully sleep. It would almost seem that you have no choice on what you are able to think upon. I say almost because here's the good news. You do have a choice. According to Psalms 63, verse 6, it tells us, As I lie on my bed, I remember you. Through the long hours of the night, I think about you. Why would the psalmist say, through the long hours of the night? I believe because he had things on his mind that continuously came back, but he chose to think upon the things of God rather than allow the things to control him. In other words, although the enemy is trying to steal your happy thought, you have the power to choose what you will think about, and what you think about will affect your life. Psalms 1 verse 2 tells us, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he thinks day and night. But his, de- who is the his? Well, you are the his. Your delight is in the law of the Lord. 
If what you think about doesn't bring you peace of mind or closer to God, I believe you need to think about something else. Personally speaking, I haven't found anything harder than changing my thought in midstream. It's like a battle going on in my mind. Sometimes when I have a mind battle over something that I know is, well, the only word I can think of is stupid, it almost seems impossible to switch. I mean, it's not like turning a light off and on. So what do I do? I work really hard at focusing on Philippians 4.8. Finally, my brethren, keep your thoughts on whatever is right or deserves praise. Things that are true, honorable, fair, pure, acceptable, or praiseworthy. You know, no one said it was easy. But I do know that it's not impossible. And you know the world doesn't help. That's why I try to commit that verse to memory realizing that what society has to offer today is the exact opposite. I mean, just look at the TV listings, the popular magazines, even our newspapers, and you will often see glorification of things that are impure, wrong, and untrue. People focus so much on the negative that the media seldom features positive news. Why? Because they're afraid they'll lose their audience. In Titus chapter 1 verse 10, in a particular translation, it uses a word that really describes what the things of the world are. And he calls them, listen to this, he calls them mind deceivers. If we think upon those things, we lose our peace and joy and obviously our sweet sleep. Why? Because our minds have been deceived and they come back to haunt us. But if we think upon the things of God, we gain peace and joy. Because as Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16 tells us, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. I encourage you, think upon the things that the Lord has done and rest in knowing that the steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord, that's you, you are the righteousness of Christ, and that truly all things will work out for the better as long as you give him the control of your life. And with that I leave you with the blessing. Shalom. The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord cause the light of his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his attention, his countenance upon you and give to you his peace. God bless, guys. See you next week.